Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Peter Rare. Today we're doing a Mortal Kombat style cocktail that I created earlier called the Scarlet Bloodbath. This is actually part of a full series of cocktails, which is part of my You Create the Series event where you pick the characters, you create, you pick the fatalities, you basically made the cocktail. I just designed the ingredients. This particular one, the fatality is gruesome. She sits there, stabs you inside the head, she slices your throat, and she just basically bathes in your own blood. Her whole character is basically created off blood. Blood of the enemy is a Shao Kahn. She is blood itself. So, born of blood, she loves blood. She'll sit there and she'll cut you, she'll slice you, she'll drink your blood, she'll just blood splatter all over the place. She loves blood. Well, this cocktail is going to be fairly bloody colored. And it's definitely going to be very tasteful to show you how it's made. Now it's going to be also a chicken strain in a highball. It's very good drink. It doesn't take much to do it, but to show you how it is. Add a couple pieces of ice to your glass. Shaker. And get a grip on it. First thing you want to do is take your razzmatazz. Obviously, this is a deep, rich, like blood red color. You can use any raspberry liqueur. Shim board is very expensive. I have shim board. I try not to use that much because it's very expensive. But if you can use it, use it. Razzmatazz is just as good, and it's a raspberry schnapps, so it's not much of a difference. You're basically taking one ounce of that. As you can see, it's a very deep. It's like coagulated blood looking color. Almost purplish, but yeah. Then you want to take that. Then you want to add two ounces of vodka. Going to St. Petersburg. Then you want to take one ounce. Of your orange juice. This is going to help kind of thicken it a little bit, give it more of that thick blood color to it. Then your last alcohol ingredient, Salerno, which is a blood orange liqueur, keeping with the blood theme to it. But this is also very sweet. So this is definitely going to add a lot of flavor to it. So you want to cut this down. So I'm using half ounce, not using a whole ounce. A little more there. Here we go. I do got to say as an added note though. Considering the fact that Curtis McMillan did one time work for the company that promotes this when Grant and Sons being introduced to this thing I never heard of this until he did the contest for the Hendrix Gin so it's very good it's, if you love blue oranges if you love like a idea of a triple sec but basically the citrus flavor to it it's something you definitely look into doing because it's a lot sweeter a lot more flavorful than your standard triple sec and then you figure add that and the last thing you want to add is your grenadine before you add your soda. And that you're only doing about half an ounce because this is going to be sweet to begin with. And the whole concept of adding this is to keep that rich blood red color. There we go. Then you just give it a good shake. Straight in, but you want to leave just enough room so you can add your soda. See how deep bright color that is. 
very rich. And the last ingredient, Sprite. That'll give it that little bit of a carbonate, but keeping with the citrus flavor, because this is going to be a high citrus content cocktail. There you have it. The Scarlet Bloodbath. It's a very thick, very flavorful looking cocktail. It's definitely something you want to try out and see how it tastes. Definitely have a little bit of bubbly flavor, so it's going to be pretty good. Mm. One thing I am noticing, but not in a bad way, this so it is very sweet, has a very distinct flavor. There hasn't been any recipe that I have ever put that in that this, even if it wasn't the, the high, the main concept, even if it's only a little bit like a quarter ounce to a half ounce, there isn't a recipe I haven't made this did not stand out amongst all these ingredients. That's the first thing I taste. You obviously, you definitely get a little bit of the razzmatazz, the, the raspberry flavor to it. It's not a very potent because that is overpowering it. Because it is that, that strong. You're getting a lot of the berry notes they would normally get with the, the Grenadine. A very, very sweet cocktail. You got a lot of citrus to it. The vodka just helps balance out the whole cocktail. It helps keep the potency up, but not add a lot of flavor to help that would actually overpower any of these other ingredients. So it definitely keeps the flavor. Keeps the idea of a nice blood red color. And the idea of the fact that, well, she slices your throat and she drinks your blood. It's a very deadly combo. A dead, very deadly fatality. And it's a very potent drink. They have a dribble up there, but it's good. So if you, if you like sweet drinks, you would love this. If you love citrus, you will definitely love this. It's, it's very... That's like the main thing. It's like you're tasting the razzmatazz, but not a very potent amount. But you're primarily tasting citrus. It has a very strong orange tart flavor to it. Because if you ever had a blood orange, just straight blood orange, compared to like a standard orange, you notice that it is more tart. It's sweet, just like a regular orange is. It definitely has that standard orange flavor. But it's more of a tartness to it. It's, it has more of a bite. And it's, it's cool. So it's like blood red. Because you have you open this orange thing. And oh, it's just going to be an orange. But it's like blood inside. It's obviously a blood orange. That's why it's called that. But it's in, in the core. It's very good. I love blood oranges. That's definitely something. If you can get a hold of it. It's like 40 some dollars a bottle. Maybe 45 It's definitely something to look into getting. It's perfect for a lot of recipes. Mm. It helps bring out so much flavor. That's actually really good. This is something I definitely suggest you try out. There's a lot of recipes I made for that whole Mortal Kombat series. This is only one of the, I think it be about six different recipes. But this particular one, I was very proud of. It's very sweet flavor to it. It keeps the idea. And one of the characters I love most from Mortal Kombat 9, I believe it is, is Scarlet because the fact that she's blood incarnate. She is she just bathes in your blood. She's the one who gets most bloody. So it's some a character that's keeps true to the Mortal Kombat theme. Even though she's brand new to the series with that one. I hope she appears on a lot of the new ones because she's that good. Much as this cocktail is. And I hope you enjoyed this. Like us on Facebook.com slash Spirit Cocktails. Definitely subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this drink and the whole series in general. Let me know what drink next of the Mortal Kombat series you would like to see on my show. Or even just a whole new Mortal Kombat recipe you would like to see. Based off any move, fatality, any new character. Maybe one of the brand new characters from the Mortal Kombat 10 is coming out. Whatever you would like to see. I can create it. It don't take much. Just let me know. And as always, subscribe to the channel and drink responsibly.